my first look at Cora Poe, which is combining OpenAI's ChatGPT with Anthropic's Claude. Claude's a little bit difficult to get access to, but now you have it on iPhone. This is only available on iOS at the moment. Cora has now released it publicly. It's been in beta testing for a little while. And CEO Adam D'Angelo recently came out and talked about it with Wired. He mentioned that he was an open AI director, which is a little bit of nepotism here because he's convinced open AI to allow him to build ChatGPT into the phone app, this is iOS, as well as convincing Anthropic, who are ex open AI staff, to allow him to build in Claude into the same application. You can download it on the App Store. I'm just jumping in here. You can search for Poe, P-O-E. You'll need to give both your cell phone number and an email address, but once you've done that, you're all ready to rock. You're given three different chatbots by default. The first one is called Sage. This one is ChatGPT by OpenAI, and you can see there when you click on Sage's name that it's um, powered by OpenAI, no knowledge of events after 2021. That one is easy to play with. The next one, Claude, we'll do the same thing. Click on Claude's name. This bot is powered by Anthropic, same sort of thing, no knowledge of events after 2021. That one is really rare, so feel free to spend time with that one. The last one I wanna talk about here is Dragonfly. This one also says this bot is powered by OpenAI, uh, but it says this bot responds more quickly. Now this can either be Text DaVinci 003 or maybe one of the smaller models. I'm not quite sure and they haven't been very public with that one yet. But there you go, all three models built into iOS for free to play around with. I'm not gonna suggest what to do because you can go and watch my other 100 plus videos on how to interact with a chatbot, but keep it in your hip pocket and have a conversation with each one and see how it goes. I'm gonna invite you once again to join the memo. This is a list of subscribers that are currently paid and reading the memo, we've got monthly editions, but it's been a bit more frequent recently because of the broad and very rapid pace of artificial intelligence. We've got people from the RAND Corporation, DeepMind, Google AI, Microsoft, Harvard, MIT, the list goes on. I've had governments ping me that say they are paid subscribers so that they can read it to help them set policy within their government, which is really cool. would love to have you there. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. I have the memo.